Americans of all political beliefs are sick and tired of the radical, rage-filled left socialists. I never saw anything. What's going on in this country? What's going on in this country? The Democrat, really, the Democrat Party is the Socialist Party and may be worse. Voters are making a mess. Exodus from that party. And we are welcoming them to the Republican Party with wide open arms. And the Republican Party is doing great. We are privileged to be joined tonight by a courageous leader who left the Democrat Party because he has had enough of their extremism, enough of their socialism, and enough of their vile hoaxes and scams. He's had enough. I'll tell you, he really is. He's a brave guy. He just said, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's a hoax. It's a scam. I'm not doing it. And we called him, you know, you're a rock kind of guy. Let's go. And it didn't take much because he believes like we do. We are truly honored to be here with the newest Republican member of the House of Representatives, your great Congressman Jeff Van Drew. And I have to tell you, a few weeks ago, Jeff was one of the few brave and principled Democrat lawmakers, in all fairness, we've been after him for a long time, <laughs> who stood up to the House Democrats and the outrageous abuse of power that you see going on right now. They can't win an election, so they're trying to steal an election. It's not happening, folks. It's not happening. And Jeff had the guts to defy the left-wing fanatics in his own party and to stand tall in defense of our Constitution, our freedom, and democracy itself. And I just want to, I have to tell you, I've gotten to know him really well over the last couple of weeks. He's a great guy. He's a brave guy. He shares our values. He supports lower taxes. Not bad. They want to raise your taxes. How did that work, Jeff? How did you get elected with that one? <laughs> Less regulation, a strong national defense. He loves our military, loves our vets and police. And he is a tireless champion for the state of New Jersey. He loves your Second Amendment, which is under siege by the Democrats. Jeff, it's an honor to be with you, please. Now, how about having the president right here in South Jersey? What a great day! Now I heard that the folks in this room can make more noise and more applause than anywhere in the world. So we're going to do one more time for this man right here. Now, when I was in the White House with the President, he asked how he could help me. I asked if he could come down to South Jersey and have a rally. Without even hesitating, our President said yes, and he is here, a man who kept his word to ensure, to ensure that the eyes of the world are on South Jersey. Jersey and all of us. The USA is a great nation, the greatest nation that civilization has ever known. Do we want to keep it that way? It's a nation, a nation and a people of great exceptionalism. Do we want to keep it that way? Yeah. Our president has made it clear by restoring our military, protecting our economy, and by not allowing any other nation to ever take advantage of us again. Do we want to keep it that way? Yeah. 
This year, this year, this very year is a flashpoint election. Are we going to allow ourselves just to be like any other nation in the world? Or are we going to keep America great?